Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. So in front of us is the 2023 Lexus IS350 F Sport. This model is finished off in caviar with an exciting interior. We have the solid red leather. We'll also go over the MSRP once we go over all these specs and features and get this sedan out on the road. So let's start off with what powers this F Sport. This has a three and a half liter V6. It's paired to an eight speed automatic transmission, pumping out 310 horsepower, 281 pound feet of torque. That power is sent to the rear wheels. This weighs in right around 3,800 pounds. It'll do zero to 60 in five and a half seconds with a top speed of 143. It also has a fuel economy of 20 miles per gallon in the city and 28 out on the highway. Now let's go over the exterior styling. We'll start off with the hourglass design for this grill, finished off in black. The Lexus badge is also the forward facing sensor so it doesn't break up the rest of the grill. And the surround for this is also finished off in gloss black. Plenty of cutouts in that cool intricate design to provide a lot of cooling along with the uh, large air inlets on each side. Now this also has LED headlights, DRLs and turn signals. Very crisp design to them with the intricate bodywork running around them. I think it flows very nicely along with the lines that come all the way to the point of this grill. So they break off and go all the way to the base there. There's also a parking sensors up front, some more trim pieces on each side. It gives it a really sporty vibe for this luxury brand. Now for this F Sport, it gets a set of 19 inch wheels, eight and a half wide up front, nine and a half in the rear. Finish off in that black chrome with the multi-spoke design. Very nice accent against the exterior black. There's the F-Sport badge, body colored side mirrors with the chrome accent, integrated turn signal and the camera. This even has a sunroof, more chrome surrounding the windows to tie in nicely with that chrome trim piece and some subtle lines that run down the side. There's one in the side skirt there that breaks off to the rear fender arch there in the door and then one at the height of the door handles. So it flows very nicely, leading all the way to the rear where it has a small trunk mounted spoiler, even LED taillights with a connector bar that runs right through the middle. This has a backup camera with all the parking sensors, of course, even some black in the uh, diffuser there with the uh, dual exhaust on each side. Now, in order to gain access to the trunk, we can use the button on the key fob or the one up underneath. It is not a power operated trunk, very, very lightweight, however, and you can see a lot of space with the back seats up to fit in a lot of items. There's also the uh, spare up underneath the floor. You have a little bit more storage if you need to use that. So pretty practical. There's one grab handle up top. Like I said, very lightweight trunk, so that's easy to close. And now we can get another look at the beautiful red leather interior. I am surprised, however, there's no storage in the rear door panels, which is unusual to see, but I love the color contrast with the accents for all the trim. And there's a little bit of plastic in the upper section here, but it has a nice look to it. And at five foot 10, I can work my way into the back. I currently have this front seat farther back than I would sit but I do have a little bit of space here. There's also a storage nets or pockets behind both front seats with two air vents in the middle. And then we have the armrest as well as being able to have the cup holders. So those just pop right out. You can use those as needed. I have a good bit of headroom, maybe an inch or so. So it is pretty spacious for backseat passengers. It's not the largest sedan out there. And if you have that seat a little bit farther forward, it's much easier to enter and exit. For the front door panel, you'll see the same design, a little bit more of a design in the lower section here, but we do have storage now, all the window controls, side mirror adjustments, even all the memory seating adjustments too. F-Sport is down on the door sill, and then we have the beautiful heated and ventilated front seats, which are power operating. And it's a low car, very easy to get in. This does have the easy entry and exit, so when I start this up, the seat will automatically move forward. So that is why it was so far back for the back seats there. But as we take a look at the F Sport steering wheel, we have solid and perforated leather, S Sport in the lower section, all the Bluetooth and voice commands along with volume and tuning. On the right side, there's the lane keeping assist along with the distance pacing. You can activate that with the cruise control stock, of course. And then we have all of these for the center gauge cluster. So you'll see on the left side, is the engine temperature, right side is the fuel level, and right in the middle is the tack, along with some info that you can go through, like your miles per hour, there's a blank page. You have some other vitals that you can monitor here. There's even the gear position, TPMS, 
and we have miles per hour and kilometers per hour. If you wanna see even more info, just push on this button right here. The entire tack will shift to the right, or now you can go through your Bluetooth as well as your audio. You can even look at your uh, cruise control settings. You have any messages. There are a lot of standard safety features for this F Sport, and you can configure how sensitive or not sensitive you want all of this to be. So it's nice to see that. And then we have some other settings. Some are similar to what you saw earlier. There's a G Force meter, though, that is different. And then we also have uh, back to the Bluetooth there. So it's nice that you have that option to do that. This even has the paddle shifters with the brushed aluminum trim. Now on this left side, you will see the dimmer switch for the gauges. There's also the automatic headlights. There's a sunshade for the rear glass. If I push on view, this will give you a 360 degree view of the entire vehicle and what's currently surrounding it. You can also change the angle too, play and pause it, just depending on what you'd like to see. So we have a little bit different of a view looking almost underneath the car as well. Pretty interesting to see that. So that is a cool design. And then if we go back to the center infotainment system using the controls down below, there's home and menu and the trackpad behind that. So on this menu screen right now, you can see audio, phone, projection is how you compare your phone to the system. If I click on the upper arrow, the home screen here has the split design. So you have music, navigation, and then a few icons right there. Not a whole lot of information, but it's pretty simple and straightforward to go through. Now there's an air vent underneath that with a clock right in the middle, and then all the climate adjustments are easily laid out. You can see the temperature just by scrolling on that dial, fan speed, a few other researchs. This even has heated side mirrors too. And this Lexus model does have a CD player. You have power and volume for the radio, tuning, and then a few other buttons just underneath that. And these are heated and ventilated seats. So you have those controls on both sides. And this even has different driving modes. So by twisting this to the right, you will see the tack change to the left, that is for comfort mode, and then, or eco mode, by pushing on it, we're in comfort mode, and then back to the right is for the sport setting. So depending on how you like to drive this. This even has a snow mode, there's traction control, the auto hold assist, and if I put this into reverse, you will see the backup camera up here. There's a few different angles just depending on what you'd like to see, along with being able to change the guidelines. And then if I put this into drive, you'll see the backup camera, up, or the forward-facing camera up here. There's only one setting for that, but it's nice to have that. And then for the center armrest, you have a lot of auxiliaries and a little bit of storage to place any items. The glove box has an ample amount of space as well. And then with the sunroof, this has the auto or the manual adjusting sunroof with the automatic adjustments for the sunroof itself. And then we have the touch sensitive dome lights as well. And from the driver's seat, pretty good amount of visibility in both directions. But let's go ahead and get this out on the road. And still in sport mode. Just a mild acceleration. And we're up to the speed limit just like that. So again, it's it's pretty adequate for the sedan that this is. And again, it's a little bit more luxury focused as far as your driving experience. Not necessarily all of the technology, but for $50,000, I don't really think you're overpaying for this. You're getting into a Lexus. So if you've always wanted a Lexus model, this is not too far off of the average price of a brand new vehicle. So. For the average price of a new vehicle in the United States right now, you can get into a Lexus that has a little bit more uh, than what you would spend for about 45 grand is about the average for right now. And coming around these turns, just at a normal rate of speed, it handles well. So you could take it on back mountain roads, you could do a little bit of sporty driving with it, not necessarily a lot, but so far from what I've thrown at it, and I've been in the 350s before, it's a good handling vehicle while it's not highly performance oriented. So it's a good blend if you're looking for a style of vehicle like that. Super planted around that turn. It's fun to drive too, but again, I, I love how quiet this is. So for 50 G's, you're getting a very refined and luxury focused sedan. But I think that is going to wrap it up for this 2023 Lexus IS350 F Sport. Once again, huge shout out to Hendrick Lexus Northlake for providing this sedan for me today. Check out their website. That link is down in the description. 
Give the video a huge thumbs up if you enjoy it. Smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our daily uploads. And I will see you all in the next video.